Lesson 4.2, Use Compensation. This is for two-digit addition. Compensation means something given to make up for something else. So money could be given to make up for work that was done. Or compensation could be we trade ones to make a 10. We can make an add end a 10 to help solve an addition problem. We can take ones from an add end to make the other add end a tens number. We have 28 plus 15. We can break apart the 5 in the 15 into a 2 plus a 3. 10 plus 2 plus 3 is 15. We can take this 2 and give it to the 8 to make a 10. Now we have 20 plus 10 plus another 10 plus that 3. Now we have 20, 30, 40 plus 3. We have 43. 28 plus 15 is equal to 43. So let's see how we can do this. A tens number has no ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on are tens numbers. They have a zero in the ones place. Here we have 34 plus 20. That's three tens, four ones for 34, and 20 is two tens. That means we have five tens, four ones. We add two tens to the 34. Adding can be easier when one of the add-ins is a tens number. So 20 is a tens number. We can say 34, 44, 54, and count on by tens, remembering that there's a four in the ones place. 34 plus 20 is equal to 54. We can make one add-end the next tens number. Then we can complete the new addition sentence. Here we have 37 plus 18. We have three tens, seven ones, and we have one ten, eight ones. We can take two of these ones and make a ten with these eight ones. Now we've got three tens, four tens, five tens, and some ones. What we did was we took the seven and we broke it into a five and a two. And we gave that two to the eight to make a 10. Now we have three tens, that's 30, plus five, plus the 10 we made from the two and eight, plus that 10, we have 30, 40, 50, plus five more, that's equal to 55. We made the 18 into two tens we made it into the next tens number of 20. It had one ten, eight ones. Now it has two tens, no ones, and it's a tens number. We can use 10 frames to see what is happening. We have 28 plus 17. That's two tens, eight ones, two tens, eight ones, plus one ten, seven ones. It, this eight here only needs two more to become a ten. So we can give these two ones to the twenty-eight and make it a thirty. Now we have a tens number. It's thirty plus fifteen. One ten, five ones. Now it's easier to add thirty plus fifteen. We have three tens, four tens, and five ones. 28 plus 17 is equal to 30 plus 15, which is equal to 45. Here we have 13 plus 48. We have one ten and three ones. Here we have four tens, eight ones. The eight ones needs two ones to make a 10. We can group 10 ones using two from over here. 
now we have one, two, three, four, five, six tens with one left over. That means 13 plus 48 is equal to 61. We can start making a 10 with the add-in that has the greatest amount of 1s. Here we have 54 plus 29. This 29 has 9 1s. The 54 only has 4 1s. This 9 only needs 1 to make a 10. So we start with this one and we take a 1 from the 4. In 38 plus 16, this 8 only needs 2 to make a 10. There are more 1s here than here. We can take 2 from that 6 to make a 10. And when we add, we count on from the greater number. So we can start making a 10 with the add-in that has the greatest amount of 1s. Mr. Park built 24 large birdhouses and 18 small birdhouses. How many birdhouses does he still need to build if he wants 50 in all? We think we need to find how many he already built, then find how many more he needs to have 50. We can draw a quick picture to help us. We have 24 and 18. That's two tens and four ones, and one ten, eight ones. These eight ones just need two more to make a 10. We can take two of the ones from here and group them with the eight to make another 10. Now we have one, two, three, Four tens, two ones. That's 40 plus two, that's 42. He wants 50 in all, so we think 42 plus some number is equal to 50. What would this two need to make a 10? So that four would be another 10, it would be five tens. Do you know what two would need to make a 10? If you said 8, you're right. 42 plus 8 is equal to 50. That means Mr. Park needs to build 8 more. Here we have a word problem, and notice that we have a chart right here. It says floor tiles. It's got the color of the floor tile and the number of tiles. For white, there's 28 of them. For gray, there's 34. And for beige, there's 36. And our word problem says that Mr. Park needs 64 tiles to tile the floor. He wants to use two colors. And which two colors should he use? We think we need to find two numbers that will have a sum of 64. And we can guess and add. If he uses white, which is 28, and gray, which is 34, we have two tens, eight ones plus three tens, four ones. We can regroup these to make a 10. These eight ones just need two more to make a 10. We could take them from here. We have two tens, three tens, four, five, six tens, two ones. Six tens, two ones. That's 62. He needs 64. So let's try gray, which is 34, and beige, which is 36. He needs 64. And we look and we've got three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens. But we only need four more ones. And look, we've got a lot more than four ones. We don't even need to add this to know. But let's do it anyway. We've got six here. 7, 8, 9, 10. If we circle all the 1s, that'll make another 10. Now we've got 3 10s, 4 10s, 5, 6, 7 10s. That's 70. That's too many. What about white, which is 28, and beige, which is 36? That's Two tens, eight ones, plus three tens, six ones. We can regroup and make a ten here 
by taking two ones from here and giving it to the eight to make a 10. Now we've got two tens, three tens, four, five, six tens, and four ones. Six tens, four ones is 64. So we know which two colors he should use. He should use white and beige. If he uses all of the white tile and all of the beige tile, he'll have 64 tiles to tile the floor. Our next lesson, 4.3, we're gonna break apart add-ins as tens and ones to continue learning how to do two-digit addition. I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.